What's up guys? I'm going full ninja mode today. Um, today is five days out. Five freaking days out. Peak week. I'm about to hit up some fasted cardio right now. Stairmasters. Um, I guess I can just drive and talk. Let me try this thing out and see how we do. So, hope we don't crash, you know? Just wanted to talk about what's going on right now and how I'm feeling and what Peak Week's all about. And yeah, I'm just headed off to the gym. So I'm gonna head off to work too. Today's a busy day. But yeah, so Peak Week, I'm gonna be driving, so not really keeping my eyes on the camera. But yeah, so peak week, it's very interesting. Um, right now, I noticed that my weight is going up. So last week I was 148 pounds. Today I'm 150, 100 I think, 150, 151, uh, which is weird. My diet is the same, all fish diet, and then like 150 grams of like sweet potatoes like once a day. So I don't really have that much carbs. I also cut out my oatmeal so my carbs are like super low i think what's happening is because i'm like i'm eating a lot more salt and my water is eight to ten liters um i think i have more water than fats and all that stuff right now that's in my body that's causing me to to get to gain all this weight so i've been kind of like water loading and salt loading and i think that's what it is it's my first time doing this peak week thing, and I think, I mean, uh, my coach didn't explain that's what was supposed to happen, but I, what's crazy is, like, although I weigh 150-something pounds, I actually feel tighter, and my abs are showing a lot more, which I think is crazy how, pretty much how that science works. But other than that, five days out, my workouts are still the same in regards to, like, hit cardio in the morning. Um, the only difference is, is like my workouts are less compound movements, but more so just isolations. Uh, instead of doing like an hour and 20 minutes in the gym, I'm doing 45 minutes now. So things have kind of gotten cut. I know that I'm not supposed to do like super high, like high rep, uh, heavy reps, but more so like high intensity, really fo focusing on the squeeze. I know peak week is kind of like just really just doing touch ups. Like if you're not lean by now, it's going to be hard to get to where you want to be this week. So you're just kind of doing touch-ups is what it is. I feel like just a lot of tightening up. Um, my coach this week has me not only water loading till Tuesday, but my sodium and my water is actually going to be cut on Wednesday. And then I carb load on Thursday. Haven't had any refeed meals because I don't deserve it. Because I still have like my lower abs to work on because they're not popping yet. But I feel like it's getting there. Um, emotion wise, this past week, the start of peak week was a little bit challenging just because my body was still getting adjusted to the decrease in carbs. Um, I felt like crap working out. I have no energy. I lack the energy. I lack the motivation, to be honest. Because I'm like, in my mind, mentally, I'm like, dude, I'm depleted. Um, my body looks like top notch to to where I've never seen it before, but emotionally and physically and mentally, I feel like crap. But I think that's part of the peak week, <laughs> part of the experience, and I just gotta live with it. It's just a couple more days, but we'll get there. All right, so I made it to the gym. I'm gonna be doing my cardio, but before before I go in. Um, I gotta show you, I did get a new car as a daily. It's a RAV4. I did originally want a Toyota Tacoma because I wanted to do this. Man, look at this truck. Sheesh, bro. That is gold right there. But I do have plans to overland my ride maybe a couple of years or a year or so from now. So, stay tuned for that build. I still got the Mustang though. All right. Oh, hey, cardio, let's 
do it. One hour Stairmaster, level 14. Ah, cardio, damn you. <sighs> there we time. Stairmaster, level 14, one hour, hit cardio non-stop. I'm dying, guys. But we're gonna do this. I encourage you to, if you're working out and watching this video at the same time, let's get it. Watch. Come on, Daryl, it's only five days out. We're almost at the finish line. Just gotta keep pushing, gotta keep hustling. All right, guys, we did it. Just finished one hour. Uh, Stairmaster burnt 921 calories, level 14. Hip cardio done for the day. Time to head to the office. What is up guys? So I just got out of work. Uh, we have a gym at work, which is gym number two. I just finished doing a chest and uh, ab workout. Peak week, day three. Man, I really am, I'm really. Bruh. I'm, really, I'm really struggling here guys, because I don't know if this is normal. I guess it makes sense because my carbs are super low, but I'm struggling, man. I'm struggling on like focusing energy wise. I'm really doing my best to give my all, but like mentally it's just like I'm exhausted and physically I'm exhausted. And I'm really trying to push through and I'm really just trying not to regret every moment of my training. I'm hungry and I'm really just trying to stay focused as best as I can. I'm not trying, I'm doing. But yeah, I just finished doing a chest workout which I just pretty much did like cable flies and everything like that in dips. I didn't really do any compound movements. Uh, I just don't have the energy for it. I, I really was just, I was struggling and I feel like nauseated and wanting to throw up. Uh, just not feeling myself today. And then I got I'm headed over to teach my Zumba class one more hour of cardio. And then I just want to go home and knock out and then repeat again the next day. I'm feeling burnt out, man, but I finally get to have carbs, which is my sweet potatoes. The only carbs I get today. I carb load on Thursday, which seems like light years away. I'm really doing my best to stay positive because I'm getting my butt kicked right now. I just need to make sure that I get some good rest tonight because I just, I really need to like just knock out and just really sleep because I'm getting up at like 6.30 in the morning just to do my cardio. Then coming to work and then teaching night classes like i think this will conclude the vlog <laughs> i really want to end it on a positive note honestly like i'm really doing my best to stay focused and positive and 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 really just block out the noise because ultimately that's what i need to do to get through this week so i'm going to keep pushing forward and i'm going to keep going through it no matter how hard it gets no matter no matter if i'm struggling keep on focusing and strong and do the best that I can. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Please subscribe, like, um, share this video. I hope this video inspires you and it encourages you to do the impossible because that's what I'm all about. Even though there may be struggles and times, you can do it. You just gotta push through, keep your head up high. And um, I really wanna grow this channel as best as possible. Road to one million by end of 2023. <laughs> Anything's possible, right? So please, uh, please support this channel and I'll provide you I'll continue to provide you with some content Thanks and have a blessed day. I'll see you guys